Hello and welcome to the Archie Luxury Luxury Channel. Today I'd like to go through some um, emails that I've received from the many YouTube viewers who are fans of my channel. And um, I, I, I've uh, delayed doing this for a while because I wanted to build up a critical mass of articles and um, postings on my YouTube channel. But now I'm thinking, well, look, let's let's um, have a look at some of the uh, questions that some of the, the YouTube viewers have posed to me. And uh, I thought it'd be really great to to go through and, and just, just analyze some of their questions. So, so let's begin. Okay, here we go. Hello, Archie. I've enjoyed watching your videos lately because I myself am also deeply passionate about watches. I also have an appreciation and love of luxury items like bags and clothes, so I can relate to your videos. The reason I am emailing you is that I was wondering if you could tell me your opinion of the watch I bought some four months back. Here is a link, and uh, it's basically it's a uh, Frederick Constant Heartbeat Persuasion. And uh, the the uh, the viewer goes on. I bought this watch in Korea, where I currently live, and did pay retail for it. Uh, it works out to be about 1700 US dollars. These are not exact figures, but are somewhere close to that. I adore the watch. It is Swiss made with an in-house mechanical movement and displays the Geneva seal on the face of the watch. It is unfortunately gold plated, but I wanted to pay money for the movement rather than materials of the watch. I heard before you mentioned that every man over 25 years of age should have a watch of 4000 or over. Well, this is a big watch I bought for myself a while back, before seeing your videos incidentally. I am married and my wife hates my watch obsession, so I was lucky to spend that much. Anyways, to cut this short, I was simply hoping to hear your opinion on seeing this watch. I hope you to be brutally honest, as I know you will be. Thank you very much, Jacob. Okay, let's respond. Jacob, what the fuck are you doing buying a Frederick... Constant. I mean, look. Let's be completely honest. There, it's um, it sounds like a uh, a company that's trying to make an imposter to a Vacheron Constantine, you know, a Vacheron Constantois. I mean, for fuck's sake. I mean, it, it. You live in Korea. Uh, it's a bit like the San Young Chairman, which is a a copy of an E-Class Mercedes. I mean, the only thing you can say about anyone who drives a San Young chairman is that they couldn't afford a Mercedes. That's all it says to anyone. Uh, a Frederick Constant, what's my opinion on it? It's a piece of fucking shit, Jacob. Jacob, I don't know what the fuck is your problem. How the hell could you pay retail for a piece of fucking shit? I mean, did the sales assistant have perky tits and no bra on? I mean, it's a no-brainer. I mean, that brand of watch is a nothing. There's heaps of retailers selling that piece of shit. It's, it's a nothing watch. It's, 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 um, sure, it's Swiss made, but, I mean, fuck, you know, it, it's, it's, it's really lower end of the barrel. It's not fine watchmaking in the least. I mean, th this, is, this is the thing you've got to, got to understand here. I mean, this is just a, it's a piece of fucking shit, okay? That's, 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 that's my opinion on the watch. And um, let's let's have let's 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 analyze some of the the things you've said in the the email to me there. Uh, thank thanks for enjoying my videos. You're probably not going to be a fan after I've I've told you what a piece of fucking shit you've bought. Um, and you you go on to say that you bought this watch, and you you paid retail for it. It's a no name piece of shit. You've paid full price for. Fuck, that's a bad deal. Um, it's a Swiss watch with an in-house mechanical movement. Look, it, it's using a generic Swiss movement like an ETA. Uh, it's, 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 it's a nothing movement. Frederick Constant, um, to my knowledge, just, just um, it's a nothing brand. I, I, I don't, I don't, I'm not an expert in pieces of shit, but I'm telling you now, it's nothing fucking wonderful. Um, and you, you go on to say there that it's, um, you say, uh, it has a Geneva seal. Geneva seal, that's not a fucking Geneva seal watch. A Geneva seal watch is like my Vacher and Constantine. It's a Geneva seal movement. It's special uh, markings that are on the movement. Just because it says Geneva on the dial doesn't make it a Geneva seal anything. 
That just means a certain percentage of the watch was was uh, manufactured in Switzerland. <clears throat> Geneva on the dial does not make the watch a Geneva seal piece. Geneva seal is a very um, special process that has to be done to to the movement. It's it's very strict rules on what a Geneva seal movement is. I mean Geneva seal itself. Um, my Vacheron Constantine is a Geneva seal movement. I've got an Audemars Piguet, and it, it's actually not a Geneva seal movement. So um, your watch is definitely not a fucking Geneva seal movement at all. That's a piece of fucking shit. That's an insult to say that. Um, what do I think of it? I think it's a fucking stupid purchase. I mean, fuck me dead. Why would you pay $1,700 for a piece of shit that's got absolutely no retail value? It's a bad buy. It's a bad buy. And uh, you go on and, 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 and you, you say there, I am married and my wife hates my watch obsession. Have you heard of the word called divorce? I mean, fuck me dead. It's not fucking rocket science. If, you, if your wife doesn't like watches, get a fucking divorce. You live in Korea. You've got some of the most beautiful women in the world. You don't need to fucking stay with, with a wench like that who's going to... Um, fucking put your, your watch collecting down, I mean, fuck me dead, um, I mean, that's, 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 it's not rocket science, if she doesn't like you collecting, fucking replace her, I mean, that's, 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 that's as, as simple as I can, um, as I can put it, and, uh, I then, then received another email from Jacob, um, because I hadn't replied instantly, I mean, fuck me dead, I don't know if you viewers realise this, I mean, I make a little bit of money out of fucking Google Ads, but it's 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 not a full time gig for me. You know, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I do have a life, and um, I'm quite you know I'm fucking busy. But he goes on. Jacob came back to me, said I was a bit hasty in writing that message last night. Well, fuck, I thought it was a, a you know fair bit of information there. I forgot to mention that I am 27 years old, and the full model. He gave me the model number of this piece of shit. Living in Korea, my salary varies from month to month with my work, but I make. He makes about seventy to ninety thousand a year after taxes. That's fucking good money. As I mentioned, he bought the watch for seventeen hundred. Other information about me: I have a Peugeot two hundred seven. He bought it a year ago. That's the hard top convertible. It's considered a luxury car here in Korea. Probably not Europe though. There are harsh import taxes, and he ended up paying forty thousand after taxes and insurance. Jacob. Jacob, Jacob, you know, th that analogy I gave you with the San Young uh, chairman, I mean, fuck, it's, it's a pretend Mercedes. The Peugeot is a pretend fucking European car. Peugeot, anything French, is fucking hideously unreliable. And I, and I say this from the heart. I had an Alfa Romeo. I love Italian cars. I'd never fucking buy one again. They're a piece of shit. French cars, Italian cars are garbage. What you should have fucking bought was a Honda Accord Euro Luxury. That's what I would have fucking bought. That's a beautiful, well-made car that'll last 10 to 15 years without a fucking ounce of trouble. I mean, to buy a Peugeot, that's fucking stupid. I mean, your choices in watches are as shitty as your choice in automobile. And I can also add this, if you don't mind me saying this, they're as shitty as your choice in women. I mean, fuck me dead. I hope she's a fucking, a great one in bed. Fuck me dead. You said there, you also said, my apartment is 150000 for two-year deposit. In Korea, if you have enough money for the deposit, they return all the money at the end of the contract. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, he says, I do believe it's an in-house movement. The watch bears the Geneva seal. No, it fucking doesn't bear the Geneva seal. It's gorgeous with sapphire crystal on the front and back. 28800 BPH, all handmade, I'm led to believe. Well, Jacob, it's a piece of shit, okay? It's shit. I mean, seriously, I'll be honest with you, okay? My Vasher and Constantine, you got to buy some second-hand pieces. <coughs> if you don't have the big bucks to buy a brand new Vasher and Constantine, you need to buy a vintage one, okay? Maybe a little bit smaller than what your... Uh, Frederick Constant is, but fuck, it, it's it's a watch with heritage and, and, and it's got a fucking Geneva seal, not one that pretends to have a fucking Geneva seal. And uh, I had a look at that piece of shit on the internet you're talking about, and it, it's got, it has got looks like a, a, a fucking Torbian. It's it's just 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 garbage. Jacob, it's a fucking piece of shit. 
okay? You, you, you really, I'm sorry to say this to you, I mean, you sound like a fan of the site, but, man, I can't lie to you. It's fucking garbage. What you need to do is this. Let's, let's get a, a, th a three-point plan. Number one, get rid of that piece of shit, if you can. I don't think you're going to be able to get rid of that piece of shit. And um, <clears throat> buy a decent watch. I mean, look, um, for around the $2,000 mark secondhand, you can get a, um, an Amiga Speedmaster Man on the Moon, the mechanical one. You could get a, um, I'd look at some, some, some Rolex. There's some really good Rolex pieces there. You know, for three to 4000 you could get an older model Explorer, like the Sapphire Date one with, with holes in it. Sorry, a Sapphire model with holes case. Um, you'd be looking, you know, three to four mark. Uh, that's a much better piece than this pretend piece of shit. If you want a quality dress watch, it's got to be a fucking a top brand, okay? And uh, gold-plated just does not cut it at all. You need to get rid of that shit. Get rid of that fucking Peugeot ASAP. Get a Honda Accord. And if the wife won't come around to your watch hobby, well, I mean, how much does she fucking earn in the household? You're earning 70 to 90. That's good money in Korea. That's great money. What the fuck? What the fuck does she do besides, you know, whinge and complain about your consumption? And I must admit, your choices are pretty fucked. But fuck, who is she to fucking whinge and bitch and complain? I mean, if she doesn't fucking support your hobbies, fucking replace her. There are heaps of beautiful women in Korea. Korea has got some of the most beautiful girls in the world there. So I'd I'd be looking at fucking um, definitely outsourcing or fucking replace. I'm sorry, I've got to be brutally honest there with your um your email there if she's going to be a fucking whinging bitch who doesn't support your fucking watch collecting replace her most women women come around so so um don't 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 worry too much about that there okay let's let's get on to our our next uh, viewer email and this is from Ruben he says to me hello i live in london have been viewing some of your youtube content you've posted which i think is rather informative uh, you go, you invited questions, so here's mine. I currently have a Cartier Santos Gelby stainless steel in quartz. I've had it since 2005 and love it as much as the day I bought it, so trading it hasn't ever crossed my mind. More recently, however, over the years, where my interest into real watches has grown, I have realized that I should have originally purchased it in the automatic version. I'm considering upgrading to the automatic version which uses the ETA 2982 movement. It also happens to be marginally bigger in size too, which isn't a bad thing given today today's average watch sizes. What's your take on this movement? Thanks in advance. And that's from, from Ruben. Well Ruben look, Ruben look, we've all fucking made mistakes. I've got a um I've got an Audemars Piguet Royal Oak two tone with which is quartz and it was also similar price to the auto version when it was new so I mean don't fucking be so hard on yourself look the honest reality is if you're going to sell that to a dealer in a trade situation he's going to give you fuck all for the quartz and what are you going to get you're going to get an ETA automatic uh, Cartier look Cartier is a jewelry piece I love Cartier I've I've uh, always been a huge fan of Cartier and I, I've got Cartier pieces I still want to acquire so you know I, I am I am certainly hearing you I've got a Cartier um, Panther stainless steel which is all it, it Panther only ever came in quartz and um, I understand your question exactly to be honest with you I would hang on to the quartz piece it, they're a good piece uh, I actually had a, a Santos uh, quartz in stainless steel the large size one uh, same model the uh, Gel B, and uh, I got to say this to you. I think they're a fucking great watch, and uh, I wouldn't be too worried whether it's got <clears throat> a mechanical or a quartz movement. You're buying Cartier for the design brilliance. That's what you're buying it for. You buy it for tech for the movement. You buy Cartier for the design chic. And let's be honest, there, an ETA movement. I mean, fuck me dead. That's just. I've got to be completely honest with you. It's a nothing special movement. Sure. It's, it's a good Swiss movement, but fuck me dead. It's a $200 wholesale movement, okay? So don't get too fucking worked up having to replace the quartz version with... I mean, who gives a shit if you've got the quartz one or the, the automatic ones? There are, you buy a Cartier for the design chic of it, and um, I think it's always very nice to have a, uh, 
a uh, it's always very nice to have a, a quartz piece in your collection i've never been ashamed of her just because fashion says quartz is out well they can get fucked look at my last viewer he's got a a frederick constant well i'd tell you one thing for sure for seventeen hundred dollars i'd rather have a fucking quartz cartier santos than some stupid fucking uh automatic uh piece of shit that this viewer's got so you know seriously stay with the cartier quartz it's a good piece um, if you sell it to a dealer, he's gonna you're gonna take a bath on it. You're gonna be paying a lot more. It's just not worth doing it. Don't do it. If you if you uh, want another piece, sure, don't buy more quartzes, but they're a good good bargain buy. And the beautiful thing with Cartier is, if something does go wrong with that piece, Cartier will have parts available for years to come, and um, it'll be as good as new. And and I gotta say honestly to you, I um. I've got a few Cartier pieces, and uh, quartz is never a big problem. Uh, you're buying it for the design chic. You're not buying it for the movement. If it was a Patek, <clears throat> I can understand the problem. I understand your dilemma. But you never bought the Cartier for the movement. And ETA movement's just, just nothing fucking, nothing to get so worked up about. So, don't, don't fucking, um, don't sweat it. Keep the quartz one. Uh, don't buy any more quartzes if you can avoid it, unless they're a bargain buy. I mean, if they're bargain buys. What's wrong with having a fucking... Put it this way. I've got an Audemars Piguet Royal Oak. It's quartz. So fucking what? It's an Audemars Piguet, for fuck's sake. That's better than any fucking automatic Rolex. That's better than any fucking automatic Cartier. It's a fucking Audemars Piguet. And this is the whole thing, is that you've got to put it into into uh, perspective there. Okay, thanks very much for, for listening here. Let's see if we've got time for one more viewer email and now I'm afraid we've run out so I'm gonna I'm gonna make a, another video very soon which is gonna have more uh, viewer viewer emails tell me what you think of this format I've uh, I'm just having still photos in this because I mean do you really want to see me in a fucking suit talking about this shit look I'd rather it's Sunday morning I, I'm in my uh, my my uh, my underpants, you know, sitting on my chair recording this shit. I don't want to wear a fucking suit and, and go outside to, to fucking record this shit. I mean, look, if I've got still photography oh, whilst I make these videos, who cares? I mean, fuck, just not, let's not get too carried away there. I'm, I'm experimenting with the, the videos, as I said, the, the moving pictures, and um, there's a lot to learn. I've got to get that quality a bit bit higher. So, um, you know, I I'd certainly am, am playing with the craft. So, um I'm certainly going to be keep using that, but I'm also going to be retaining my still photography for some videos. Thanks very much, and if you've got questions about your watch purchase, please come and email me, and I will uh, tell you what I think of your purchase. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.